an invisible thief was on a spree in New York City. He used to steal one thing per day. On the first day, he stole a refrigerator from Ronnie's house. On the second day, a table from Brandon's house. And then one day he stole a chair from Bruce's house and a microwave from Gunther's house. Now think and tell me, what will the thief steal from Phoebe's house? A. Mixer B. Juicer C. This television Or D. This bicycle Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section below. Let's have a look at the answer. If you observe carefully, you'll see the pattern. The thief steals the things of colors starting with the owner's first initial of the name. Like he stole a red refrigerator from Ronnie's house. Brown table from Brandon's house. Black chair from Bruce's house. And a gray microwave from Gunther's house. So, he's gonna follow the pattern and steal a mixer grinder from Phoebe's house as it's pink colored and Phoebe's name starts with P initial. It was fun, wasn't it? Let's move on to the next one. Mayhul was awarded for his brilliance by the government. And to celebrate that, Mayhul threw a party for his friends. He invited a lot of his friends. The celebration was going great, and as it was about to end, Mayhul went to the washroom, where he was attacked brutally. Mayhul wasn't able to see the attacker's face, but he saw that he was wearing good, decent clothes, which means he must be someone from the party. Mayhul got up the next morning and went straight to the security guard. He asked him how many guests were there in the party hall after he went to the washroom. The guard tells Mayhul that there were three people at that time, Monty, Ronnie, and Sam. And they all disappeared from the party after a while. Mayhul visits all three of them to ask them why they left the party. Monty says, To be frank, I was too bored at the party. And I left way before you were attacked. Sam says, My distant cousin was streaming live on YouTube. He's in China, and he was streaming live from there, so I went home to watch it. Ronnie says, I wasn't feeling well. That's why I left for home. Mayhul instantly understands who is behind the attack. Can you think? Think carefully and let me know your answers in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. If you picked any one of them, you're wrong. There are two people involved, and both of them are lying. Pause again and think carefully. Let's see the answer. Sam and Monty are both lying. There's no YouTube in China, so how can Sam's cousin stream from there? And how did Monty know that Mayhul was attacked? And if he knew, why didn't he inform the police? That's how Mayhul understands that. Let's move on to the next riddle. Sarah was walking down a street and talking on her phone when suddenly someone attacked her from behind, leaving her unconscious. She was still lying there when Phoebe saw her. Phoebe took Sarah's phone and immediately called the police at the location. Phoebe also called her recently called people. They were her sister, her brother, and her friend. She tells them to come to the spot, but by this time, the phone's battery died. Police reached the crime scene, and so does her brother. No one else reached there, but the police still arrests his brother. Why? Can you tell? Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. When Phoebe called everyone on Sarah's recent call logs, she just told them to reach the location, but wasn't able to tell them the address as the phone died. Then how did his brother manage to reach the correct location? The police figured this out and arrested him. Let's move on to the next one. A waiter calls Detective Mayhul and tells him that someone attacked him. I was in the storeroom when someone attacked me from behind. I couldn't see his face, as I fainted on the spot, after he hit me. He, also tells Mayhul that he hasn't told anyone else, about this incident. Detective Mayhul reaches the crime scene, and interrogates all three people present there. The owner says, I was at the counter all day. It was a busy day. I didn't have time for all of this. 
The second waiter says, I was in the kitchen and was looking after the customers. It was very crowded today. The chef says, I was preparing food for everyone. There were too many orders today, so I was busy. I didn't have any time to go to the storeroom. Now you think and tell me who must have attacked the waiter. Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. The chef had attacked the waiter. How did he know that waiter was attacked in the storeroom if he was in the kitchen? Mayhul understands this and arrests the chef. Let's move on to the next one. Sarah had a lot of work pending at the office one day, so she decided to stay late and finish it. She called her husband and said, I'm going to stay up late in the office. I'm alone here, but I need to finish my work. She also sent a selfie of her. After seeing the photo, her husband Ronnie realizes that Sarah is not alone in the office. But how exactly? Can you think? Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. If you look closely, you'll notice a glass on Sarah's table with two straws in it. After seeing this, Ronnie began to suspect that Sarah was not alone in the office and that someone else was present as well. He rushes to Sarah's office and discovers that there are three more women working there. Look at them carefully and tell me which one had juice with Sarah. Think carefully and tell me your answer by commenting. Let's see the answer. Sarah was with the second girl. The second girl is wearing pink lipstick, while Sarah is wearing red. Which is the same combination as on the straws. Let's move on to the next riddle. Rhea wanted to go shopping, so she picks up her credit card and goes to the supermarket. She puts a lot of items in her cart and then goes for billing. But forgets her credit card pin. No worries, Rhea is smart. She always keeps a paper in which there's a hint for her pin. Look at this paper carefully and tell me, can you guess what could the pin be? Think carefully and let me know your answer in the comments section. Let's see the answer. The pin for Ria's card is 2, 4, 3, 2. Bicycles 2 wheels. Cars 4 wheels. Tricycles 3 wheels. And bikes 2 wheels. Let's move on to the next one. Today, we have a very tricky maths puzzle for you. Tell me, what will be the answer of 66 into 1.5? But remember, you can't use mathematical operations and can't even write any numbers. This means you can't do multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division to solve this problem. Think carefully and tell me your answer in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. It's very simple. Turn 66 upside down, so it will be 99. And that's the answer. Interesting, right? Let's move on to the next one. Once, Krishal was roaming in the jungle when suddenly, a wild rhino confronted him. He scared him away with his karate skills. But, as soon as the rhino went away, poisonous snakes found their way to Krishal. He ran away from them, but was too unlucky, as he was attacked by tribal people. He started running backwards and entered a cave. There were three doors through which Krishal could escape the jungle. Behind the first door, there are extremely poisonous snakes, which will bite Krishal if he enters the door. Behind the second door, there's a man-eating tiger who loves human meat and is hungry for days. He'll eat Krishal alive if he even tries to enter that door. Behind the third door, there are hundreds of mirrors, and if Krushal enters that, he'll go crazy seeing so many reflections of himself. Now you think, and tell me which door he should take, to escape this situation. Think carefully and tell me your answer, in the comment section. Let's have a look at the answer. Krushal will open the second door. 
and enter the third door with his eyes closed. The tribal people will come after Krishal to look for him, and the man-eating tiger will eat them. He will then slowly enter the second door and escape the situation. Now let's move on to the next one. Inspector Gag was chasing a criminal. He follows him into a building. There were three flats in the building. Inspector Gag checks the first flat and interrogates the tenant, who says, I have been playing video games since morning. I didn't leave my house at all. The next person says, I have been working out. Haven't left the house yet. The third man says, I have been playing basketball. I haven't left my house. By looking at these three images, can you guess which one of them is the criminal? Think and let me know your answer in the comments below. The third man is the culprit. He is playing with a soccer ball and not a basketball. Moreover, how can someone play basketball at home and that too, alone? This means that he was lying. Inspector Gag arrests him immediately. Look at these two families carefully and tell me which family is poor, A or B. For more such interesting puzzles subscribe to the channel. Think and comment your answer.